We have a double feature for you today. First of all, we are going to be discussing distribution of Nordic cinema in uh, other territories, followed by um, Iceland as a location. So can I ask our Icelandic panelists to tell us a little bit about how we should and can market films in other territories and perhaps ask our foreign guests to respond? Well, um, if I only knew. <laughs> um, we tend to, uh, well actually we've been more successful lately with uh, television at Saga Film. Uh, we've sold about five or six uh, um, dramas and TV series um, to the both the US distribution and, uh, and also in Europe and some remakes as well. So, and that's basically, I think, the, the point is having a, a, a good story and uh, compelling characters and, and good script. I mean, I think that's the key to everything. Um, how we market it then, um, you know, it, it, it comes out of that. Um, so I think it's always, uh, you know, it starts with a great story. Um, the success of uh, Scandinavian television may in the future sort of pave the way for feature films more into uh, the, the to the general public in Europe or, or wherever the series are sold because uh, uh, what the audience will get to know is are the actors in the series which they like and uh, will, will start to appreciate uh, whereas when you have a feature film sort of a single feature film that uh, is uh, where the marketing is very often geared towards the director and there are interviews with the director and the actors are always secondary uh, which is quite different from the american uh, uh, adver advertising where uh, the actors are the ones that you see on screen and you're selling their names so uh, most likely uh, the success of uh, Scandinavian television will help us to promote our films in the future. I, I, I can see, I, I don't know how Icelandic TV series, uh, TV dramas goes outside, but I think that also the problem is that the number of films being actually produced the, the last years are quite few uh, Icelandic films, so it's hard to to, to market such, an, uh, and when we see the um, success of the Scandinavian films, usually these films are genre films with a kind of Nordic twist. And I think that's, that's the basis of the success. For instance, we had the Norwegian film, crime film Headhunters, based by the Norwegian author Jo Nespe, which is quite huge, actually, uh, in, uh, internationally speaking. And of course, that was a huge success. And and also we see all these um, uh, Scandinavian and Nordic horror films that are kind of taking the Hollywood formula but, but twisting it into this kind of, uh, of a Nordic thing, so. Uh, there uh, is a trend uh, since, I think, rough, roughly 10 years for Scandinavian subjects in Germany. A bit later it started also in, f in France I think especially Arnaldo Indridason is a big best-selling author now in France also, so the, um, the, the um, starts to be, mainly it was started with Danish series like Borgen and, and, and The Killing and so the which, which uh, huge successes, Killing, The Killing was I think the biggest success out ahead in a, as, a, as a series in total till now. So it would top the Tudors and other things we, we add. So this is uh, definitely, uh, there is a definitely a, a, a future in it. We um, try at the moment to do something which we haven't done before, uh, but it's also Danish again. It's a, a eight part miniseries, 1864 by Ole Bornedal uh, on the German, Austrian, Danish war. So we, we uh, try not to do crime at this time. Let's see. Borgen was not crime, really. Uh, but let's see how historical subjects work with the German friends or French audiences. But there is a positive development concerning s cinema, I think, uh, I'm totally amateur in it. So uh, I think the only film which seemed to be a, a huge 
uh, international success after, after last year's can was La Chasse, uh, the hunt of uh, Thomas Winterberg, which I think was sold after it was s shown the evening the next day. I think it was a one of buyers, and that, that was really uh, remarkable. And that was uh, also, I think, one of the most discussed films in the French papers. This seems to be what everybody labels um, Scandinavia now. I mean, going to the film festivals this year, if you just said, I'm from Scandinavia and I have a thriller, everybody wants to read it. And that was it, doesn't matter. I mean, then obviously you get response on the, on the script, but I I've never had the response to just a thriller in Scandinavia in the same sentence, like this year. So if you wanna cash in, then, you know, do it fast and do thrillers. <laughs>